Welcome back. When you're on the go, it can be difficult to find healthy foods that also taste good. Absolutely. Some say bone broth may be able to give you more energy and help you feel better. It's on with Alan Cornett from Eat Kentucky. Hey, how you doing today? Doing great. Good to be here. Welcome. Welcome. So bone broth. Bone broth is kind of hip right now, but it's also really good for you. It's, it's okay. been designated a superfood. Oh, you know, like blueberries and sure. things like that. Uh, it it gives you a lot more nutrients that come actually from the marrow right. of a bone. So uh, it's not just a typical broth that's just done with meat, but it's actually s sucking Straight those nutrients out. Bone. Right. Okay. And the great thing about Lana Life, as you were saying, is that, that it's a, in a powder in these packets. Sure. So a lot of people just drink it. They'll drink it like a tea or something, or just okay. like, a, like a cup of soup kind of yeah, thing. I mean, just it mix it in with anything? Just mix it in. You can take it with you, get some hot water, Pour it in there, stir it, and ready to go. Any particular flavor to it, or just kind of well, blends in with whatever you're uh, drinking? You, this, we've got chicken and beef here. Okay, gotcha. And of course, you can then use it in as ingredients in uh, a soup, uh, for example, or all sorts of things. People use it both to flavor things, sure. and also in some things you can you can put it in as simply a way to add in nutrients that you're otherwise not going to get. And it's really high in protein. Very high in protein, and so a lot of people use it in paleo diets. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of people use it, say, in place of dairy because you're going to get a lot of calcium from mm -hmm. it because it, it pulls that out of the bones. So there are all sorts of, of great uses for Seems it. Seems like a lot of benefits that come absolutely, with something absolutely. like this. Absolutely, very healthy. And so what do we have right here in front well, of us? Well, we have made a soup uh, that is, I know it, the weather right now doesn't feel like soup warm. season. Yeah. But we're getting ready but to we're have about fall. To get That's fall. right. Could you do exactly. a cold soup with this, or is it better hot? I'm sure you could do a cold like, soup if you wanted to. We we have not. We we've got a warm it soup. Does, it sounds like you can put it in almost anything. So this soup in particular, just this is this is a bone broth bean soup. Okay. We've got cannellini beans, sort of as the base of it. Sure. I've put in potatoes, which you can decide whether you want the potatoes in it or not. They're optional. But you just take an onion, chop up a whole onion, saute it in some olive oil in the bottom of your of your pan. Uh, then you're going to add in cumin, okay. uh, you're going to add in salt and pepper, and then you're going to put in the bone broth. Okay. And you're going to stir all that in with sure. some tomato paste and add the water. And then you're going to put in your beans. And then you're going to, you can just boil it for 30 minutes, you're ready to go. And that's it. Or you can leave it overnight. The great thing about soup is yeah. the longer you leave it, the better it gets. That's right. And so it's great, you know, if you've got kids at home. You know, they can come in, you can heat the soup up, and you're ready to go. And, and it's it's not chili, but it sort of has that you right. know, flavor. It's sure, good. Absolutely. Yeah, that and, probably and if you wanted to, you know, you could make this uh, a meat sure. soup as well. Sounds like this one is not, but you could absolutely do that. Right. All right. So well, very good. And you can find Lano Life at Kroger, Fresh Time, Amazon, and LanoLife.com. That's also where they can get the recipe. That's right. And they can catch me at Eat Kentucky on Instagram and my new podcast. So they All can right. find Ooh. that on Apple. A podcast and Google Play. So search Eat Kentucky. There and eatkentucky.com. All right. Well, our pet of the day is next. And thank you again for being here. Oh, thanks for having me.